Hi everybody, I'm Jake, and this is Grace. Hi. And today, we're gonna draw a griffin. Okay, so again, we're gonna use a simple shape technique to draw the foundation first. So very lightly, draw a circle right about there. And then, let's draw another circle that kind of overlaps. It's a slightly smaller right there. Oh, you're not overlapping yours, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. This will make each griffin unique. Then draw a, the third and final circle right up there. Great. Okay, now we're done with the foundation drawing. We're gonna use those circles to base the rest of the drawing off of. You can take an eraser and just lightly erase, lightly erase the other circle. Or not the other circles, the, your, the circle you just draw. You don't wanna make them disappear um, and fully erase them. You just wanna lightly erase so you can still see them and use them as a guide. Okay. You know what? I want to draw one more circle. I, there's one more, I think, object that's real important. Let's add another circle. Just about right, right there. That's going to be the beak. The nice thing about using this foundation technique is it gets you to practice your circles. Circles are actually kind of hard to draw, and you need to draw thousands of them to get good at him. And when you do this technique, you just get extra circle practice. Okay, so there we go. We got the head, the chest, the hips, and the beak. From there, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll build on top of that. Here we go. So let's start off, let's start off with the eye. And we're gonna do kind of a not kind of, we're gonna do a line that goes just like that. I'm making mine very slight curve to it, but you can make it just a straight line too. And then we're gonna do a, like kind of a half circle underneath that. And that will be the bottom of the eye. Okay, and we're gonna come over here and do the same thing, but it's gonna be skinnier. So another line, and then another half circle. And that half circle wants to be, it should be about the same height as these guys here. Okay, and then let's get the, what should we do next? Let's just keep on working on those eyes here. Next, I want you to do kind of like a fisherman's hook, like a fish hook. I don't know why I called it a fisherman's hook. It's a, a fish hook. Um, and just kind of going above. I like drawing thick, meaty, eye, not eyebrows, but you know. The skin above. Yeah, the skin above the eyes, yeah. And then do another one that faces the other way above the other eye. All right. And let's start on this beak. Okay, this beak line is a little bit of a complicated line. It's gonna start off straight, and then it's gonna bend down like this, and then it's just gonna kind of hook, a very gradual hook, till just about uh, just about in front of the, yeah, just right there. And then here's another comp. It's a it's a little bit of an S on its side. So if you turn your paper this way, it's gonna go like that. Yep. Ooh, I think you did a better job than I, I did. Nice, nice S. And remember, you gotta make the sound. Yeah, the sounds are important. Um, yeah, it doesn't come out right if you don't do the sound. 
Okay, now we're gonna draw the his like jaw, or the is it still called a jaw if it's a you got a beak? I, can, I will call it a bottom of the beak. But... Okay, bottom of the beak, the jaw, the jaw beak, <laughs> and it's just a little half circle goes down like that. Good job. Okay, and then okay so. Imagine that there's a line going right there. Don't draw this line. Just imagine that there's a line right there. And what we're going to do, he's got feathers. Griffins have feathers on their neck. Their neck. So just do a little bit of a kind of fish hooks. Use to just kind of con to come all the way down. It doesn't have to be exactly like I, I'm doing them. Th these are just kind of... These are, will be feathers, so they can be just kind of random. All right, good job. And then, like, once you get about to there, just little smiley face, smiley smile, smiley face. You know what I'm smile. trying to say? It's little smiles. Yeah, that just kind of continue down like that. All right. So about right there, and then we're going to draw his legs. His front legs, has one that comes down like that, two lines. Or about like that. And then he's going to have, ooh, he's going to have his other leg, his front leg, go right like that. And right there, and don't don't come down as quite as far on that front leg. And if you do it slightly different, like Grace is doing it slightly different than my, how I'm doing it, that's okay. Is that, is that this is your Griffin, not mine. Okay. And um, let's let's go ahead and finish these feet. The they have uh, eagle legs in the front, right? So. He needs some good claws or good talons. So it's a line, straight line, and a straight line like that. Straight line. Yeah. And then underneath, it's more of just a line back. And you do that again for his other one. And you're going to do three like that. Good job. And, you know, as always, if I'm going too fast, pause. Pause the video and uh, take your own, do it at your own pace. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for that far leg. Straight line down. Straight line down and back. Straight line down and back. Just kind of like that. Good job. And then you can kind of connect it with this light little smiley face line right there. It kind of connects them. And you can also, at the base of the, the claw right here, just add a little bit of a whoop. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of a quarter circle not for the knuckle again I don't know if they're called knuckles when they're when they're on a talon but that's it's good enough okay now let's do some fun part let's let's jump back up to the head and do some fun parts up here it's the feathers on the top of the head so some hooks and use go up here and they don't doesn't have to be match mine perfectly you can just kind of have fun layering them in and if you do too many that's okay that's why God gave us erasers and what again just like down here once we get to the back of the head just draw some you know, smiley faces that go kind of down like that. Good 
Good job, good job. All right, now for the wings. Starting about right here in your circle. Draw a line that goes like that, a like kind of a line that's pointing at what? That's what, about two o'clock, maybe, maybe two, two thirty. And then another one that goes straight up. Yep, and then another one that's like, it can be, uh, let's go a little bit more like that. Yeah, so these are going to be the wings. And which, what we're going to do is going to go more fish hooks, more U's, and just kind of, kind of go back like that. Yeah, and then I like doing like a second layer of U's that are smaller because birds, they have their, their feathers are, are layered a bit. Yeah. All right. So we can kind of continue back by up like that, just connecting that line there, and let's do the, le the his back legs. So, going down like that, just like we did with the front legs, there's only going to be a slight difference because, oh, I was talking and just drawing. Let's make a kind of a squished S for the belly. as it goes right like that. And continue up to that leg that we, uh, the front of that back leg we drew. Okay, and then let's do another. Yeah, I did that one a little bit too long. It is back legs. Okay, so now they have lined back rear legs. So I'm just going to do a little um, half quarter circles, maybe two thirds of a circle, two thirds of a circle like that, two third, one third, one third. I know my math. There's these little, little things like that. And uh, I went a little bit too far in here. So I'm just going to knock this down, knock it down. It's okay. We make mistakes. I thought griffins had worse back legs. No, griffins are half eagles, half... What are we... Do we know what we're drawing? Griffins are half horse... Or no, half eagle, half lion. But, you know, hip... Um, That's a hippogriff from Harry Potter. You're hitting a hippogriff. Uh, Griffin, not a yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Totally different. Totally different, Grace. Come on. Okay, so anyways, more do the same thing on the other back leg. Like that. Line them up. And that this one, you can kind of keep that circle going around till about right like that. And then draw the base. Uh, or the bottom of his foot. And then connect those lines. And then for the claws, we're just going to draw circles. Just, just little circles like this. I'm assuming, I mean, their back half of their bodies are cats, so they can detract their claws, but it's fun to see them. So here we go. And connecting all those lines. Um, what should we do next? Okay, let's draw the rear end right there. It goes up, but don't con connect it all the way up because we need the tail. And this tail is going to be an S on its kind of fallen over. Funky S. 
falling over and draw the bottom part of the funky S and then let's draw the like the fur the hair on the end it's a line it's two smiles that are a little bit offset a frown and a smile that's a little offset and then they end in little uh, flares little little wave tips like you can see that. it as a paintbrush you yeah it's like a lot lot like a paintbrush Okay, we're getting really close to finish here. Our griffin needs another um, wing, obviously. Can't fly with one wing. So let's go right back here and kind of... It helps if it's not quite parallel. But if it's parallel, it's okay. And then just do your little uh, fish hooks or use to go like the back there. And we never drew the, the pupils. I'm going to have this time, he's going to be kind of be looking forward like he's a majestic creature. I'm going to add another, I'm going to add another feather right there to add a little depth and connect his beak right there and now let's draw the back of his beak um, beaks kind of go down they're gonna go down like this and kind of give room for its mouth so down and around and you can you can just give him a, a nostril Right there. And we are pretty close to being done. You can add a couple small little feathers here and there. I have add some around just his neck. And another thing you can do is to make the feathers look a little bit um, more like feathers, add some lines. Just some little extra texture in there. You can add a, a little fold of the wing right there. It's just a little bit of a, a little sad face, sad, not face, a little, uh, Sad frown. And yeah, and there we go. I think I think it's time for our mighty fists of color. Watch out, don't use your mighty fists of color on your pencil. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Yeah, that was a good one. Woo! Yeah, nice colors. Ooh, you got a little egg. You have a nice mommy griffin. Or it could be a daddy griffin, I guess so. Yeah. <clears throat> Good job. All right, I like the colors. All right, guys, thanks for following along. See you next time. Bye. Bye.